Good morning guys. So it is Thursday and we are going to pack up and go to Aldi today. I know I said I was going to wait until Friday but I have some plans on Friday I think maybe. So we're just going to get Aldi done and out of the way today and yeah we say good morning. Okay guys, so my morning, today is just not my day. So everything's going great this morning and my husband told me like last night that like next week's paycheck is going to be like complete crap so I'm like trying to prepare for that so I decided I'm going to go grocery shopping for meals for the next two weeks. So we leave the house, everything's going great this morning, I go to get Starbucks. They put zero sugar in my coffee. Not just like, I usually get just the vanilla syrup with cream, but they didn't give me any vanilla syrup, any sugar, nothing. It was just cream and coffee and it was disgusting. So I went home and grabbed my sugar-free vanilla syrup that I had at home because I was not about to go to Aldi without coffee. I certainly wasn't gonna go there without sugar in my coffee. So I, it was undrinkable. So I put that in there. It's drinkable now, thank God. Anyway, on the way to Aldi, I remember I don't have the stroller in the car and I don't have any bags with me. I left all my bags at home. Great, fine, whatever, I can deal with that. Okay, cool. Pull into the parking lot and I start looking around for a quarter. I'm like, I have to have one somewhere. No, I have no quarters, none, zero. And I don't even have any cash in my wallet to like go in and like beg them for change. No, nothing. So I'm like freaking out. I call my husband because he works like 15 minutes from here. And as I'm like freaking out on the phone with him, like about to drive down to get a order, I look over in the parking lot and like one of the furthest parking spots out has a cart just right in front of it. And I'm like, oh my God. So I, I hightailed it to this parking spot and grabbed this cart. Thank God. So... I didn't have to drive down to get a stupid quarter and we were able to go inside and shop. So, luckily my child was an angel, thank God for goldfish, oh my lord. Cannot survive any grocery ship without goldfish. Anyway, we made it out of there and I am so proud of myself. I only spent $80, $80 freaking dollars for two weeks worth of groceries. So I'm pretty stoked. The only thing that they didn't have was Greek yogurt like plain Greek yogurt. I don't, they had no Greek yogurt in the entire store. I don't know what that was all about. So I'll probably have to go to Target or like the neighborhood Walmart and get some yogurt probably like tomorrow or today, maybe, I don't know. We'll see how today goes, I'm already. Yeah, that's how I feel, that's how I feel. Anyway, I'm ready to go home, get this stuff inside and you guys are gonna get an Aldi haul today. Okay guys, so it is time for our Aldi haul. I spent $80. This is all for about two weeks. I couldn't get the Greek yogurt or vegetables that I wanted. Um, so it's the only thing missing here are those things. I'll probably have to run out, of course, like throughout the next couple of weeks to get like bananas or any fruit that we need. But aside from that, this is everything that we should need, plus I already have some things in the house, of course, force. So, we're just gonna jump right in. One dozen of eggs. I got two big packs of chicken, three packs of ground turkey, two bags of frozen peas, one bag of rice. I got two of these beef bouillons and two of the chicken bouillons. Um, these are gonna be for soup that we're making. I figured these were cheaper and easier than buying a whole bunch of chicken broth. Two cans of corn. Two cans of diced tomatoes with chili. Chilies, green chilies. Two cans of tomato sauce. One can of garbanzo beans. One big can of pinto beans. Two cans of black beans. A thing of parsley flakes ranch seasoning. I got some packets of stevia. One baby food pouch. This is apple, pear, and green pea. 
I also got him banana yogurt bites, goldfish, can't live without these, fried onions for our soup. Two boxes of Aldi brand wheat thins, container of light sour cream, cool whip, blackberries, two things of strawberries, a bunch of carrots, literally, one bag of apples, one bag of oranges, the um, Halo little mini oranges were on sale so I got a pack of these as well, and one pineapple. And that's everything that I got from Aldi. All right, so we just got back from Walmart. I ended up going today and I got four things of plain Greek yogurt, so hopefully that'll tide us over for two weeks. And then I got five or six bags of these broccoli florets. Again, hopefully that ties us over for two weeks. But no, he doesn't know what to do with himself. It seems. <laughs> Phoenix Xavier, no. He's okay. such a poop head. Like, I was filming like some Instagram stories just for fun with him, like talking and screaming, and because he was cute. <laughs> Bless you. And I look down all of a sudden, and he's because he's trying to climb out. There's no water in the tub. I don't know how it happened. He keeps opening it, so I'm assuming that's what happened, is he just opened it and I didn't notice it, but... So yeah, there was no water in the tub, so we refilled it because I haven't washed him yet. So we need a little bit of water in there. And I'm starting to think he did it on purpose, because he was so excited when the water came back on, because he could play in it, like you saw. 
And then as soon as I turn it off, he tries to open the drain again. So I'm thinking he did it on purpose. What? What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Bless you. <laughs> Stay in the tub. <laughs> hey, say mama. No, say mama. No. Thank you.